These temperatures are a concern as students head back to class and back to their school-related sports and activities. News 6's Troy Campbell is live outside Advent Health tonight, taking a closer look at what's being done to keep kids safe in this heat. Troy. Matt and Lisa, doctors here at Advent Health say they're seeing about two dozen patients a day suffering from heat-related illnesses. And with kids headed back to school, they say the young people pushing themselves to the limit could be a big mistake. Avoid things like alcohol, milk, juice, and soda. Dr. Andrew Little with Advent Health says each year cases of heat-related illnesses spike in July and August. However, he says this year's extreme heat is sending more people into the emergency room than years past. It's a mix of people that are outside for longer than an hour, and so that can be people that work outside, people that are traveling outside. You know, with all the people that come in touristy um, into Orlando, we have a large number of people out at the parks on days like today, not drinking enough water, and then that includes people from all ages. We caught up with Melody Lee during a trip to the park with her grandchildren. Lee says she waited until the evening to keep the kids out of the heat. Now you have your grandkids. Do you feel like this is even hotter than before? I really do, especially with me being an Orlando native. I don't ever remember the heat being like this. With kids set to head back to school in a matter of days, school officials across Central Florida say they're closely monitoring extreme heat and limiting students' exposure. Orange County Public Schools says if needed, They'll move recess inside, saying, especially those who might be scheduled for later in the day when temperatures are expected to rise. Marion County Public Schools says student athlete practices are monitored by trainers and coaches with strict heat related protocols in place, including regular hydration and shade breaks, time restrictions, etc. Volusia County says they do not allow practices or anything athletic wise between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. because of this now. Osceola County says staff and coaches are closely monitoring students during practices and games as well, adding athletes are given many opportunities to hydrate and take breaks. Move yourself to the shade, rapidly cool yourself, whether it's a cold towel, drink cold fluids, whether it's water or your favorite energy drink. And again, doctors say if you step out of the heat after feeling a little ill and after 30 minutes in the shade with water, if you're still not feeling well, they urge you seek medical attention. And then they also say make sure to wear the sunscreen along with the extreme heat come strong UV rays. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.